Hi everybody, this is Miss Josie, and now it's time for art. Today in art, I'm going to show you how to make a Coast Salish art collage. Before we get started, we're going to talk more about Coast Salish art. The area that we live in, in Seattle and in Washington, is part of the Salish Coast. The Salish Coast is along the ocean of Washington and in Canada. So that is the area that we live in, the Salish Coast. The Native Americans who lived here long ago and who still live here today have a specific style of art called Coast Salish Art. You can identify something as Coast Salish art by the way it looks. The art is so unique. Just by looking at it, you can tell it is in the Native American style of Coast Salish art. So some of the characteristics or the unique pieces of this art are the colors that they use. Coast Salish art does not use every single color. That's because when Native American people lived here a long time ago, before stores sold paint, the Coast Salish people had to make their own paint. They used pieces of nature to make their paint. So, Salish people made black paint using charcoal. They made green paint using copper, which is a metal. You might know what copper looks like from pennies. When copper gets old, it turns green or blue. Salish people made red and orange paints out of ochre, which is a mineral. It has lots of iron in it, which makes it red. Our blood also has iron, which is red colored. Salish people made yellow paint out of moss. and turquoise blue paint out of copper. So green and blue paints were both made out of copper, which is a metal. And white paint was made out of clay. We know clay as something we buy from the store to squish in our hands, but Salish people and Native American people found clay in rivers. So clay was along the bottom of rivers and they used this clay to make white paint. So these are the six colors that appear in Coast Salish art. Now let's talk about the shapes. Coast Salish art has a lot of different shapes. The shapes are crescent, ooh, extended crescent, so a little bit wider, an extended crescent, a trigon, this looks like a triangle, but its sides are rounded. So it still has three sides, like a triangle, but the sides are not straight, they are round. An ovoid, which is almost like an oval, but one side is flat, 
So an oval is all round like a circle, but one side of an ovoid is flat. And we have U-forms. U-forms can be curvy or they can be straight like a V. So a U-form can either be a U or a V shape. People who make Coast Salish art usually make pictures out of these shapes and colors that look like animals. Animals appear a lot in Native American art and stories. So when you are making your Coast Salish art collage, you can try to make an animal if you'd like, or you can just make a design. Now it's your turn to make a Coast Salish art collage. Glue the Salish shapes onto your paper in any design you'd like. In one part of my paper, I made a design, and on the other, I used inspiration from Native American art and made a design that looks like nature. I made a design that looks like a flower with a butterfly. You can make a collage of shapes that looks like anything you want. I hope you had fun making your art collages and I will see you next time. Bye!